Like so many families, the striplings used a Wi-Fi baby monitor to keep an eye on their child. For the last month, he has been waking up around 1030 every single night and we just never really thought anything of it. What they never expected, someone else was too. It was at the corner of the room pointing down at the bed and the same night that I found him whispering to Marshall, it was around the room, pointing around the room, and then went right back to him. Stephanie immediately unplugged the monitor, but the problem actually was coming through their Wi-Fi router. I felt so violated. We found tons of users previously signed in. Yeah. We, I've blocked all of those. I have a list of them. And a lot um, of foreign devices. A lot that, of foreign devices. Tech expert Stephen Addison at UCA says, sadly, the problem is more common than you think. I'm never surprised uh, because there are most people aren't aware of the uh, of how vulnerable the systems are. But he says there are ways to protect yourself. Keep it updated, change those passwords, and don't allow the remote access. Though nothing is guaranteed. So the striplings have switched to an offline monitor, hoping other parents take a closer look at their systems. Honestly, I want to burn it. Uh, we're not going to be using them whatsoever, and I can't resell it because I can't trust anyone. Reporting in Searcy, Sarah Horbakowitz, THV 11 News.